this is a patient. Hi, this is a 39 year old female having a moderately severe mitospinosis with valvary of 1 and uh, eco gradient of around 30 by 20 mean. And uh, she is having a Wilkins score of around 8 with a moderate thickening and moderate subvalvar. So we are doing a performing a balloon mitral valvuloplasty in her case. So for that we are taking a femoral excess artery and vein both. We are putting a femoral artery sheath of 6 French and uh, we will put a in the vein we will put a O3 to wire straight away. So this is femoral artery and we will take first vein. So we will put a vein into that would be like set the vein, we put a OC to wire in that. Lateral cut into the vein because we have to pass a balloon thread, so we need a good excess area in that. And we will now put a pick tail into the artery up to aorta, which will act as measuring aortic central aortic pressure as well as measuring arterial as well as uh, giving a marker in aorta for guidance of transeptal puncture. So this would be like. Now we will try to put this uh, venous wire into SVC because we have to access SVC and put wire into venous wire into SVC. Like O3 to put in here. Descend down and we try to. Yes. 
we will descend down into the uh, right atrium and uh, we will try to go in anterior gutter of right atrium and where you have the weakest part of the septum which we will try to puncture and while going down what we do is we rotate it clockwise and go in maybe 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock position so you face posteriorly so this is how the hand goes here here in fact the hand has to go posteriorly and push it in a 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock position and you will start feeling the LA pulses over there I am feeling it now. I will try to put it in better position and see whether I am facing it. So, it is facing posteriorly, right? So, I am facing the LA. Now, I will push. Now, what will I do is, I is a good position. So, what I will do is, I will puncture the LA and go inside. So I am inside the LA and so this is inside the LA and I just check it with the die that I am inside the LA. Okay, take a empty position. Yes. Now I measure the LA pressures. So we will have an idea of how much is the LA pressure. Yeah, value change papers. 30 30 30 30 30 30 30 30 30 I am inside the uh, and now since I have punctured and done a transactional puncture, what I will do is I will give hip air. So I will give it in. LA only, straight away, hip air is given in LA. Hip air is given. 5000 mm of repair is given in LA and we are checking the LA pressure which comes around peak of around 27, 28 and mean of 14, 16 I think she is slightly hypovolic and start fluids anyway so now we will perform BMB yeah. so what we are putting is uh, the spring wire which will be curling inside the LA will support the balloon. So this wire is put into the LA. So it is placed, the whole circles are placed and it is properly placed. We remove the mulling sheet. So I put a Inside. The purpose of putting this is the dilator which we are putting now over the spring wire. Purpose of this dilator is to dilate the septum as well as the venous axis. So both the things are dilated so that balloon can pass easily. So there was a fibrous tissue at venous axis, so whatever it is, we have dilated it. Now we are dilating the septum with the dilator. So we are tugging it off and dilating it.
addition of septum as well as of the venous sitting at step, step is very important because that is where your balloon gets stuck many times. So this is an enoy balloon which we are going to use, it's a modified enoy balloon without a vent inside the balloon. So it is uh, flushing and what we will do is we will put a tracker inside the main lumen, the silver what we call it. Silver tracker is put, put inside the gold, it is locked over here. You have to lock the silver on the gold and then only push it and lock it. You can make dye mix. What we need to do is check the balloon first. This is a syringe for the Enoi which has a markers like 26, 28 and 30. Your upper end of the syringe pump has to be at the marker. That is the real level. So I am just first uh, making it air free. Just trying to make the balloon air free. Close it, take it again, she is 155, 150 right, 149 centimeters, 149 centimeters. so we will have a balloon size of around 25 to 26, right, yes, sir. put a silver inside the gold and first lock it then only the gold can go in. So lock it, gold goes in and lock it with gold, make a negative pressure. Now we will put the balloon inside the island. So balloon is gone in. Now I will remove the silver slightly and slide the balloon over it. Now I will remove the gold. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Sir. So first you have to remove the silver, then the gold. So your balloon falls into the island in shape, then you remove all the accessories of silver and the spring wire and close the central lumen properly. So now I will flush it properly and I will put a J wire inside. So this is the J wire which we will put in into the central lumen of the balloon. So it will give a proper shape to it to glide from LA into LB through mitral valve. Now the best way to cross mitral valve is in RO30, clean RO30 position. Yes. So make a clean RO30, make a balloon negative 
and uh, with each bit of heart diastole, I'll try to push the balloon inside. So I am already in. I'll try to go up to a base. It's not a proper position. It may going through the body. So what I do is I track it properly. I think I am inside. I'm not still sure, so I'll try to push it properly. Not sure. So, what I'm, the moment you feel that you are not in a pro proper position, are you out of Yeah. This is a proper position that it has to go up to apex. See, you can't go without going up to apex and dilate it. Otherwise, you will be so that you will be rupturing a papillary muscle or cord. Now, there is a freely moving into LV. I mean, RV cavity. LV cavity. You can see the balloon going up to apex and it is freely moving. I will dilate the proximal part of the balloon, pull it back and now I will dilate the distal, distal part. part and so it is held up. Now I will inflate the in middle part. So I have done it and we are out. Just check the pressures. When you don't get a major tachycardia or fall in pressure immediately, you, you feel that you are safe because see pressure has definitely come down mm. and the valve has opened up right very nicely. Big pressure 16, mean is 9 now. So what I do is now we are done with the balloon metal. We will, ideally we are supposed to take a LA LB gradient, but it may work, nobody takes it with the advent of echoes. And you have to take put a pulmonary artery line also and take a pulmonary artery pressure also all throughout. So So now I will put the silver again back and push the spring wire inside. So I am safe. Make it epic. So now I put the silver inside. Lock on the bolt. Push the bolt. Negative the balloon. Take out the whole system. Pull back the aortic end. You have to give a compression on minus line, and we are done. So we remove everything together. Now this bolt cannot go inside. If it goes, then it will damage the balloon. Clean the balloon. Distill water. Okay, I'm not going to get there, right? Huh? You want to get a micro ingredient in the last hour? Huh?